from getting fined for wearing a headband to losing millions of dollars because of a tattoo. These are accessories that are banned from the NBA. In 2018, a new style of headband would be showcased in the NBA, but this would lead to a ban no NBA fan would want. Players like Drew Holiday, De'Aaron Fox, and Jimmy Butler would make them soar in popularity. They were quickly given the name Ninja Headbands and became a fan favorite. But the NBA left everyone with the same question. Why did they ban these headbands? Well, you see, the NBA was concerned with the size and length, leading the league to have multiple teams and executives calling them a safety hazard and unprofessional. Multiple NBA players and fans everywhere wanted their new favorite headband back. I mean, who wouldn't wear these things? But that's not the only headband the NBA had enough with. You see, the NBA forced their players to only wear the official NBA headband with their logo on it. And if you decided to wear a different style headband, you would immediately be fined. NBA players were tired of losing their money and following a strict dress code. So as a way to stand up to the NBA, players started wearing their headbands upside down. This became popular around 2007, with Rajon Rondo being the main culprit. And he put his upside down headband on display for the entire world to see. Because the Celtics would make the finals in 2008 and 2010. And on average, the NBA finals racks in over 10 million fans watching per game game. So that means Rondo got to show millions of fans what he truly thought of the NBA. But it was the 2010 season when the NBA put their foot down. The league went directly to Rondo to tell him to stop disrespecting their logo and wearing it upside down. So instead of flipping the headband around, he would do what any of us would do and completely stop wearing a headband altogether. But headbands aren't the only accessory the NBA doesn't want their players wearing, because our next item gave players an unfair advantage. A lot of players have worn face masks throughout NBA history, but there's only a handful that can truly say they were able to show off the black face mask. And one of the first players to ever wear in a game was the Black Mamba. In the 2012 NBA All-Star Game, Dwayne Wade fouled Kobe trying to stop a wide open layup. And although Kobe stayed in the game, he was later diagnosed with a fractured nose and a concussion. And for the next few games, Kobe would sport a clear face mask. But after trying it out, Kobe would show up wearing the black face mask that would later be banned by the NBA. Following in Kobe's footsteps, Kyrie would drop 41 at Madison Square Garden in his own version of the face mask. But it was two years later when LeBron would unveil the best one yet. You better get back. He would walk out in an all carbon fiber black mask, matching the Heat's all black uniforms. And although everyone loved the new black face mask, the NBA had enough of the new style. Just like before, the NBA was cracking down on stuff they didn't like. And the very next game, LeBron would show up wearing a clear face mask, ending the superhero black mask era. Everyone was wondering why the NBA would ban such a unique face mask, but technically they didn't ban it. The NBA just went to all the players who wore the black mask and requested that they switch to a clear one because they thought it was an unfair advantage for the defenders not being able to clearly see their eyes. Plus, they didn't like that the refs couldn't see players' facial expressions. But because technically it's not a rule and the NBA didn't ban it, players like Joel Embiid are still able to wear the black face mask like he did last season. However, black masks aren't the only thing the NBA is worried about, because they also banned two of the biggest brands in the entire world. It all started in 2017, when Supreme was taking over the fashion world. The brand would even make its way to the NBA, starting first with Wizards Kelly Oubre Jr. 
the Washington Wizards were set up to play the Nets in a regular season game. And Oubre wanted to make a fashion statement in front of the entire world. He walked out of the locker room sporting a bright red supreme sleeve on his right leg, making sure everyone could see it. But as soon as the first half ended, he was forced to take off the leg sleeve. But why? You see, the NBA wants nothing to do with giving these popular brands free exposure for millions of people to see. Not only is the NBA game on live television, but if Kelly has a monster dunk, he could go viral. And if he's gonna go viral, the NBA wants their logo all over him. Not some brand they're trying to compete with. And when asked about the leg sleeve, Kelly Oubre Jr. said, It's just something wavy, honestly. I don't know if it's too wavy for them, but I was just having fun. Kelly, I hate to break it to you, but I don't think Adam Silver knows what wavy means. Now, Kelly wasn't the only player who got in trouble for wearing Supreme because what this next player did was way worse. It all started as J.R. Smith wearing a black supreme sleeve on his left arm. At first, the NBA didn't say anything, but when he wore it a second time, the NBA forced him to stop wearing it, threatening him with a fine every single time he wore it. The NBA's decision forced LeBron to take it to his Instagram where he shared it with his millions of followers. And as you can guess, no one liked how the NBA was handling this situation, especially J.R. Smith. He didn't like it so much, he would make a life-changing decision to show the NBA who's boss. JR decided to get a Supreme tattoo on his right leg, permanently putting it on his body. And as you can guess, the NBA was furious and threatened to find JR every single time he didn't cover up his tattoo. But that's not the only brand the NBA didn't like. Because in 2018, Kanye West's brand Yeezy was on top of the world. You could find a pair of Yeezys in every shoe store in America. And of course, Yeezys would somehow find their way into the NBA. And while players and fans were excited, the NBA was definitely not. Yeezys were coming into the NBA at the perfect time. 2018 was the season the NBA lifted their sneaker policy. This would allow players to wear any color shoes and express themselves any way they wanted. So why were Yeezys banned? Well, the shoes had a reflective heel, and while it made the shoes extremely bright, the NBA was concerned the shoes would not only distract the players, but the fans as well. So the Yeezy basketball shoe was banned before it could even make its debut in the NBA. Now, NBA players make a lot of money and they express themselves with expensive jewelry. I'm talking chains worth more than your entire house. And although they can wear all the chains and rings they want before the game, during the game is a completely different story. It all started in 1980, when the NBA saw massive safety hazard with players wearing their chains during the games. And it was only becoming more and more popular. Players like Michael Jordan, Daryl Dawkins, and Dr. J made wearing chains during their NBA games popular. But while everyone loved the new style of gold chains and jewelry, the NBA only saw how players were going to get hurt. So while the NBA banned chains in games, players still expressed their fashion sense by wearing them in the dunk contest. And of course, showing the world their hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of jewelry before the game letting everyone know the luxurious life of being an NBA player. But bands aren't a new thing to the NBA, because one of the most notorious bands was made by David Stern. In 2005, David Stern made the NBA the first major sports league to have a dress code. He was tired of all the jewelry, baggy jeans, and t-shirts before games. I mean, he wouldn't even let the players wear sunglasses. That clothing style was made popular by players like Allen Iverson, Carmelo Anthony, and Paul Pierce. And Stern wanted nothing to do with the NBA's newfound style, so he took it upon himself to make a change. He required every NBA player to wear business casual attire to every game. And when players weren't listening to the new rule, they started receiving thousands of dollars worth of fines. Stern even came out and said if players are going to have a problem with the new dress code, they may want to think about their future playing in the NBA. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love this one. What do you do? Uh, on you too. Uh, you know I'm driven, baby.